Psychology says, people who hate crowded places are always misunderstood, not antisocial, not difficult, and definitely not just anxious or nervousness. It is a physical wave of exhaustion. Your brain feels like a browser with too many tabs open. You get irritable, you get dizzy, and your only thought is, I need to get out of here right now. If you can't handle being in crowds, I know exactly what people have told you. They tell you it's just social anxiety. They tell you to expose yourself to it more and you'll get over it. But psychology and neuroscience suggest that for many of you, this has absolutely nothing to do with fear or shyness. It is not a software problem. It is a hardware difference. You aren't afraid of people. You are physiologically processing them differently than everyone else. Here is the real science behind why crowds drain you and why it is actually a sign of a high-functioning system. And if you want the full research, check it out in the description. The first reason is a neurological concept called leaky sensory gating. Think of the average brain like a nightclub bouncer. Its job is to keep irrelevant information out. When a normal person enters a crowd, their brain filters out the background chatter, the flickering lights, and the smell of perfume. They don't even notice it. But your brain? Your bouncer is on a break. Your brain has low latent inhibition. You are letting everything in. You hear every conversation. You see every movement and you track every person. You aren't antisocial. You are hyper aware. In a crowd, your brain is processing terabytes of data while everyone else is processing megabytes. You are tired because you are working harder than everyone else. Now, having a brain that absorbs too much data explains the exhaustion, but it doesn't explain that physical urge you feel to push people away when they get too close. That comes down to this next biological trait, which is your body's hidden defense system. Psychologists call this your peripersonal space, or PPS. Your brain maps out a safety bubble around your body. For most people, this bubble extends about an arm's length. But studies show that for people with high anxiety sensitivity or high empathy, this bubble is neurologically larger and more rigid. When a stranger in a crowd steps into your bubble, your brain registers it as a physical threat the same way it would register a punch to the face. Your amygdala fires off a fight or flight signal. You aren't being dramatic. Your tactile defense system is simply highly calibrated to protect your physical autonomy. But there is one final layer to this. You handle the noise and you handle the space. But why do you leave a crowd feeling emotions that don't belong to you? This is the phenomenon of emotional contagion. In a crowd, there is a massive amount of unspoken energy, stress, excitement, anger. If you have a high-resolution nervous system, your mirror neurons are constantly firing, mimicking the emotional state of the collective. You aren't just observing the crowd, you are metabolizing it. You walk out feeling heavy because you are carrying the weight of a hundred other people. So, let's reframe this. You don't need to toughen up you need to respect your bandwidth. In primitive times, the person who noticed every twig snap and every shift in the environment wasn't the anxious one. They were the sentry. They were the protector who kept the tribe safe because they saw what others missed. Your inability to handle crowds is just the trade-off for your ability to see the world in high definition. So, the next time you feel that urge to leave the party early, don't apologize. You've just processed enough data for one day. If you are a member of the No Crowds Club, leave a ghost emoji in the comments. We can be there in spirit, but not in person. And if you want to know how to recharge that battery faster once you get home, you need to watch this video on the introvert hangover next. And if you appreciate videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and join the community so you don't miss the next video.